Hello, boys and girls. Today, we will be reading Curious George Visits a Toy Store. The authors and illustrator of our story are Margaret and H.A. Ray. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this story. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today was the opening of a brand new toy store. George and the man with the yellow hat did not want to be late. The sign above the door says, Toy Box Grand Opening, 10 a.m. today. When they arrived, the line to go inside the store wound all the way around the corner. When a line is this long, it is not easy for a little monkey to be patient. George sneaked through the crowd. All he wanted was a peek inside. George got to the door just as the owner opened it. This is no place for a monkey, she said. But George was so excited he was already inside the store. He saw balls, dolls, bicycles, and games all over the shelves. There were so many toys. George didn't even know how some of them worked. George found a checkers game, a slinky, and a yo-yo. And how about these hoops? What did they do? George was curious. He climbed up to pull one out of the pile, but it would not move. So George pulled harder, but it still wouldn't move. So George pulled with all fours. Suddenly, there was a terrible crash. Red, blue, green, and yellow hoops bounced up and down and everywhere. Look, exclaimed a boy, bouncing up and down himself. Why, I haven't seen one of these in years, said the boy's grandmother, holding a blue hula hoop. She put a hoop around her waist and gave it a spin. George tried the hula hoop, too. Then George pretended to be a wheel. He rolled and rolled and, oops, he rolled right into the owner. The owner shook her head and looked very upset. I knew you were trouble. She said, now you've made a mess of my new store. Again, she tried to catch George. And again, George was too quick. In only a second, he was around the corner and on the highest shelf. Below him, George saw a little girl point to a toy out of reach. Mommy, can we get that dinosaur? She asked. George picked up the dinosaur and lowered it to the girl. She was delighted. So was the small boy next to her. Could you get that ball for me, please? He asked George. George reached up and grabbed the ball and bounced it down to the boy. May I have that puppet way over there? Asked another girl. How lucky that George was a monkey. He swung off the shelf, hung onto a light, picked up the puppet and put it right into her hands. What a show, shouted a boy. The children held up their new toys and cheered. What a commotion. Immediately, the owner came running, and then came the man with the yellow hat. I think we've had enough monkey business for one day, the owner frowned. Just then, a girl got in the long line to pay. What a great store, she said. What a great idea to have a little monkey helping you her father told the owner. I guess you're right, the owner replied and smiled. Then she gave George a special gift. Thank you, George, she said. My grand opening is a success because of you. Perhaps monkey business is the best business after all. The End All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this reading of Curious George Visits a Toy Store. If you would like to add this book to your collection, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any uploads that I add. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon in a couple of days with a new read aloud. Bye-bye!